weather forecast in Jim O'Brien. Did you check it? I want to do it right now, Jimbo, because the way it looks is the rain is here as we anticipated it to be in the amounts that we thought would come. And as a matter of fact, we may even get a little bit more than anticipated. And so that line is doing marvelous things. It is just to the west of the immediate Philadelphia area right now. Some folks uh, probably in our outlying viewing areas have already experienced the passage of the edge of cooler air, which is just going to suck us all under tonight and make it wintertime out there for some of you because the temperatures are going to plummet over the next couple of nights. Tonight will be cool. Tomorrow will be flat cold. Get set. Now, that line has been coming at us for a couple of days. It did not spark thunder shower or thunderstorms in our immediate viewing area, mainly because today it simply didn't get hot enough to cook things up and get it set for the cooler air to be the trigger to spark thunderstorms. However, just to the south of us in the uh, Virginia area, along the coastal areas down there, they are getting some boomers. But rain tonight all the way from New England right on down to Georgia and Florida. And as this line sweeps on across tonight, we'll have a slow clearing trend, and tomorrow will be cool and crisp and bright and probably breezy, too. Up on top of this line, there's a storm system up around Hudson Bay, and the wind around it will probably make things a little blustery here tomorrow. Today, maximum temperatures only in the 40s around the Great Lakes, and this morning it was 16 degrees in Valentine, Nebraska, right about there. Scott's Bluff had 19, and just a, a list of cities about as long as your arms at record low temperatures all the way from the northern tier of states way on down into the Midlands today. And so the cold air is big and it's coming at us powerfully. And that is to say that whereas earlier this week we thought that this line may sort of get on down there and slow up and maybe push some clouds back toward the weekend now, we figure these two systems are going to dominate. It's going to be brilliant as far ahead as we can see for the most part. And cool overnight lows are on the way. So for the region, it's cruising through these temps in the last hour. Look here, 50 degrees in the past hour in Harrisburg and also Williamsport. Up here, 72 in Avoca, 71 Lancaster as the front is just to the west beginning to move on through. And as it does, we're going to cool off and clear out tonight. Get set. Range of temps in Philadelphia today, not much of a range. Water temp along the shore tomorrow, a northwesterly blustery wind. Outside now, everybody in the 70s, humidity 95%, barometer falling. Here's the active weather forecast. Some more rain to go. Some of it could be heavy at times. And so we'll probably wind up maybe just a little shy of an inch for the total rainfall today. We can use every drip. Uh, low tonight at 54. Tomorrow and the next day, brilliant days. Highs only in the 60s. Saturday and Sunday, slightly moderating, uh, moderating temperatures, but still a lot of sunshine. And none of that possibility of clouds slipping back in uh, to do whatever they might do. And so for the next several days, some really brilliant fall weather. And, of course, the rain and everything that's come along so far is so welcome. Hang on, folks. Some real nice weather ahead. Okay, Jimbo. Finally, Jim, getting students excited about being back in school is not always easy. But one New Jersey high school is trying to make the experience a sweet one. Action News reporter Phyllis Burke has this story. It's Spirit Week here at Cherry Hill East High School when students compete against each other in some of the wackiest contests you'll ever see. Yeah! 